Next speaker will be Oleg Gluchov. Is he here? Deputy uh, uh, Chief Engineer of Cadastro Siomka. He will speak about aerial survey for the forest management. Uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, I will talk about aerial survey for forest management and inventory. We changed the title of the presentation. In your agenda, it, uh, <coughs> it says that the title is somewhat different. Anyway, our specialists uh, working for Cadastro uh, Siomka have uh, acquired ample experience uh, using uh, photogrammetric uh, uh, programs, including the one supplied by Rakros. But ever since we got a hold of uh, scanners, uh, we kind of uh, gravitated uh, towards uh, uh, aerial uh, photography where lasers were used. And to tell you the truth, uh, once uh, you uh, worked with uh, scanned images, uh, you are not likely to want to wear uh, stereo glasses again. Uh, we're talking about 2010-2011 uh, data for p purposes of forestry. It was a new task to us. Uh, we used to work on civil engineering and uh, topographic plans uh, based on aerial laser scanning. The sites are located in eastern Siberia, near the town of uh, Bratsk. In 2011, the survey area was 1,687 square kilometers. In 2012, 8.8 thousand square kilometers. Uh, for aerial scanning, uh, we used the LC60 uh, laser. RCD-105 uh, camera, and then we upgraded it. Uh, no, we purchased additionally RCD-30 camera with an option uh, to obtain a uh, close infrared channel. This slide shows you laser scanning parameters. We used an two carrier. The height was uh, two thousand three hundred meters in both cases, and there was a difference in uh, strips on the ground. I will not uh, clarify the technology behind the laser scanning. It might take up uh, a lot of time. Let me simply list the software we used. Of course, it's uh, the software to process uh, aerial photography, geodesy data, uh, Terra Solid, which is uh, massively and actively used uh, in Russia anyway, Photomod and uh, uh, GIS maps. This slide shows samples of orthophoto plans requested by the customer. In the scope of works, the customer said uh, to create 1 to 25,000 orthophoto plans with 30 centimeter uh, ground sampling distance. The main objective was to interpret the structure of forest vegetation. To address this task, we had to finalize orthophoto plans in terms of higher sharpness and contrast to distinguish clearly the structure of uh, forest vegetation. Because the original orthophoto plans, the one generated using conventional uh, algorithm, uh, look somewhat greener. Dark green dominates there. But uh, here you can see separately each tree and you can see each canopy. This is the uh, real orthophoto plan and the one showed earlier 
had higher sharpness and had a smaller resolution. What else can be mentioned here? Orthophoto plans were created in compliance with technical regulations, but aerial laser scanning has one big advantage, and that is uh, to get altitudinal uh, parameters of the surveyed area. Realizing that, uh, we uh, decided to do an additional survey where we could use uh, holistically the materials of uh, laser scanning. So what we suggested was to use in forest management such data as a digital elevation model, which is also a byproduct of the photo plan, digital model of uh, forest canopy. So these two models are needed to give you the third model, and that is the relative uh, altitude uh, to the earth of uh, various heights for forest management purposes. Having a possibility to create orthophoto plants in close infrared, uh, we suggested our customer looks into this possibility as well. What else could we do? We could try and create some composite uh, georeferenced images based on raster models of uh, vegetation uh, heights. I'll give you a taste of it in a minute. This is work in progress, <coughs> so don't be too critical. This may look like a uh, childish uh, uh, picture. Uh, this is uh, the reflections of uh, laser uh, points. We can see that from the point cloud taken uh, from the bigger picture, we need to uh, defined points uh, from the surface of the Earth. So later, from these points, we will be able to generate the digital, digital elevation model that can be represented in various forms, including as uh, a raster. A digital model of canopy of forest uh, vegetation. This is, again, we can uh, use laser reflections. And based on that, we can generate raster model of the treetops. The difference between uh, treetops and the surface of the Earth is our point of interest. And we wanted to generate a, a model relative to the height. So uh, by making a simple uh, subtraction, uh, you get a resultant model, a digital model, that can be represented in rest of form with various colors, with the uh, domination of the green color or the blue color, or in a standard form of uh, uh, the rainbow colors. We can see vegetation, or oh, there, there are vegetation-free sections. Maybe it has been clear-cut of trees. This is where logging is underway. This must be a field or another uh, logging operation. How can this be used? Our customer was after uh, building uh, some uh, uh, profiles forward profiles. No problems here. We identified three lines and we built uh, profiles or sections uh, where we can see the surface of the earth, the vegetation in absolute points, and the third uh, figure that shows you the relative height of uh, vegetation. 
the relative height of vegetation, the relative height of vegetation, right? Uh, without the impact of uh, the relief, not absolute, but relative, without taking into account the relief. Of course, the customer can also use the information taken from digital elevation model, it can be shown as uh, contours, as gradients uh, for forest management. Uh, based on the forest management uh, digital mo uh, biomass uh, forest uh, vegetation, you can uh, calculate your uh, biomass Knowing the boundaries of uh, forest plots, it's easy to calculate the sizes, the areas, but again, you need to have the information of forest valuation. As for uh, the usage of composite raster images, if we take a digital ortho photo, the one that uh, we deliver to the customer under the terms of reference, and we try to match it with the rest of georeferenced model of vegetation uh, height by using some tools. Those who use this program know what I'm talking about. So for a rest of model of vegetation heights, we can uh, ch change settings on transparency, gamma function, uh, brightness, etc. And that will result in a rather interesting a composite picture where we can clearly see that there are certain areas with the uh, clear-cut uh, heights of vegetation. So it's not your regular orthophoto plan where boundaries are somewhat obscure. Here the boundaries are easy and clear to see. For example, this is the cutting area. No mistake about it. And this is the small scale. If it were a bigger scale, uh, the difference would even be uh, more significant. I'll show it later. As for the um, close infrared band, no problems there. By using the same aerial laser scanning <coughs> imagery, uh, we can um, create uh, we can create an orthophoto because there's a special channel in the RCD30 camera. Different parameters are adjustable here. I mean, transparency, brightness, and others. So all of that can give you a very interesting composite. So we delivered these materials to the customer. Uh, they are reviewing it at the moment, and we hope that uh, there will be something meaningful and useful about it and maybe specialists will be able to define uh, some biochemical characteristics of trees or some uh, diseases of forest estate will be detectable using our materials. Or we can set uh, boundaries of certain uh, forest plots where some activities are underway. The next slide uses uh, 1 to 5,000 scale. <coughs> These are colored orthophoto plants. Please make a note of this boundary. I'll get back to it later. It seems to be uh, quite uh, visible. There is one type of forest and then there is a different type of vegetation. But what is it exactly? How can this be interpreted? A forest management expert will be able to make judgment on this. But as um, a non-expert, I have nothing to say. If we look at the same orthophoto plan by matching it, uh, with the uh, vegetation height model, uh, we'll get a totally different picture. You see the boundary is still very clear. This is the forested area with a different height. Here we have uh, areas with different 
height. Let me go back to the previous slide. So what do we have here? Is there vegetation in this section? How high is it? But here it is there, obviously, and quite a lot of it. In the CIR band, we can look at the same picture. Uh, there is a wat watered area. There must be some kind of uh, uh, small bog or something. But here it's a totally different kind of uh, forest vegetation. Again, the composite image orthophoto, uh, infrared orthophoto uh, matched uh, with the raster model. <coughs> it yields some uh, interesting results as well that can be used in forest manage management and uh, findings and conclusions that we derived from our uh, joint study. Why area laser scanning uh, is important? because it provides fast and quality information about the status of forest vegetation. It has uh, qualitative and quantitative characteristics. Secondly, using laser scanning imaging, it is possible to perform forest management projects. Third, you can determine the size of biomass of forest vegetation but for that you need to couple that with field data on forest valuation uh, you can uh, easily improve monitoring system you can ensure comprehensive planning and uh, designing of forest use and it can substantially reduce the amount of field work and improve uh, reliability of uh, desk studies. Thank you for your attention. Roman, you had a question? Now for the fun part. When you use the term uh, taxation or valuation, you imply the three varieties. Valuation is a certain activity conducted by forest uh, management, but uh, when you use the term vex taxation, you meant three varieties, right? You didn't um, identify three varieties. No, that's not our job. We are map mapping experts, remote sensing map. Did you try using hyperspectral scanner? Not at this stage. That's because uh, you, you didn't have the corresponding order or request. In our case, the customer requested uh, that we create a digital orthophoto plans. End of story. But what we did, we went ahead and, and uh, uh, suggested using materials of uh, laser scanning, and we ex hope uh, that the response will be favorable. All right. Thank you very much. In the interest of time, you can uh, take your questions uh, uh, to the lobby. Oh, no. Ah, small comment. In fact, this has been a very interesting presentation. I am representing forest management sector. I have been doing it all my life. Taxation is the valuation process of forests with all the characteristics. Uh, things started to make progress in this regard recently. And today our company is uh, conducting research work based on which we will develop technology. So uh, this has been a very interesting presentation. We had an exchange of opinions um, in the uh, lobby already. When it comes to the diameter of uh, canopy, uh, we can generate uh, some other interesting uh, parameters based on that. Thank you very much for this uh, brief comment.